What's that lurking in the woods? Is it a bear pulling its put? Oh no, it's Nobby on the prowl again. Scratching his back against a tree, then digs a ditch and bends both knees to squat above it, dumping wild and free. Nobby, 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 Nobby. Pop man and pop beast to cook a roll kill feast for you. Nobby, Nobby, Nobby. You can find him in the woods, gotta wonder what he's up to. Surprise a hammer takes that way, yeah, he's no oil painting, that's for sure. When he don't suffer fools at all, he's got a friend with just one body. Down we know he loves us all, but we we'll never let it show. Nobby, 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 Nobby. Pop man and pop beast to cook a roll, kill feast for you. Nobby, Nobby, Nobby. You can find him in the woods, gotta wonder what he's up to. then you crazy bar stewards i'm out simplest of simple setups tonight i've got my old poncho free fu old poncho um stuck up there cheap and cheerful thing i've got my squall hooped bivy now i don't know whether or not this is meant to be but any of my regular viewers will know that my least favorite style of camping is hooped bivy camping don't see the point but when I bought that with my own cash, tried it out against another one, it was actually quite comfortable and not, a, not an unpleasant experience. I spent ages trying to find them. They weren't making them anymore. Couldn't get them for love and money. I think I got the only one left in the UK. Until that is, I left today after already packing up. I got an email from a company saying they're back in stock. So that's the Trek mates, Squall, Hoop Bivy. As I say, I bought it, no affiliation, no links, no affiliate links, nothing like that. I've been impressed. It's a lot cheaper than some of the others. Um, come out on the e-bike, because you know, you've got to cycle from time to time. Not gonna say I enjoyed it. The trouble is with these things, you might have seen on the footage, is when you get up to speed, i.e. 15 and a half mile an hour, there's not enough gears in them to go quicker under your own steam. So you go downhill, you can only roll. You know, it's annoying at best. Set up here to start with, um, but as you can see, there's a couple of widow makers just there. So I hopped over to where the pine is, should be a lot better. Gonna make myself a brew. Everyone's a winner, out on my own. Ah, oh, it's a little bit early. I've not got my sleeping bag or anything set up. It's a, I don't know what it is. Teaser, teaser, geezer, geezer, sleeping bag. Yeah, cheap OEX mat. I've got a very simple meal today. Korean barbecue and, and some beef chunks. Yeah, put it on. I need to get a brew on the go. I don't know how this footage is going to come out in the dark. Let me know how the audio is. I'm trying out a new mic system. And does me insta work? Does me insta work? Does it work though? 
does it work? The one bad thing about this is the line coming off the middle. Track mates, sort it out. Attach some air in here, either side, enabling people to get in and out. Little thought. I hate to say it, but them bleeding midges are in already. And that ain't good, because I didn't bring any midge repellent with me. Why would I? It's only just turned February. There we go. Let's get me a brew on. In fact, what I'm gonna do first is boil a little bit of water and steam these cups through just to make sure not a lot just enough to get ugly bubbling quick where's the lid gone not that one i do love that little x boil what i've bought for the fire tonight because i don't want a roaring fire as it's just me I bought that little x boil um, folding stove to give another try. Really didn't get on with it the first time. Sorry, Colin. I know it's a prezzy, mate, but I really didn't get on with it. It was a bit flimsy. So I thought I'll give it another crack. I'll drag that out a bit later. But now I'm going to clean my pots, get some water on, get a brew on the go. And then get in a bloody bivvy bag to kip. Oh... Hashtag grinder. Shout out Burton Outdoors. I can rough it with most things out in the woods, but I have got to have a good cup of coffee. And those pour over coffees, yeah, winner. If they come out too weak, just pour the coffee back over the pour over coffee, double filtered, you know. The more you know. Got some new kit today that I'm trying out because believe it or not, the things that have been hanging my, around my neck for the last two and a bit years on every single camp, every single day at work, have finally given up the ghost. Um, I broke them. They still work, one of them does. But yeah, I snapped. I've been sleeping in them and all sorts. Every single day, four or five hours a day at least they've been used. They have been definitely the best bit of kit I've been given. I haven't given me anything else. I'm not likely to get anything else off them, but Aeropex from shops, really, really, really can't fault it. So with them in mind, I went straight out and spent 11 quid on Amazon <laughs> to get a uh, headband with some headphones in it so I can lay down and listen to me podcast. These bitey bastards are definitely out. I'm gonna need to put a jacket on in a minute. Didn't bring any bug spray with me. Might even start a fire. Um, yeah, so there's that. As I say, new mics and that I'm testing out with the Insta360, hopefully that would work. Yeah, not really a lot to say. Oh, new batteries for the GoPro. I um, picked up some Enduro batteries, which are meant to last longer and also deal with the cold better. Let's see if that stops GoPro ruining my life every camp. So I'm trying to get the kit together, ready for the Tiny Bike Tour 2 because I want you to have decent audio, decent video, yeah. Yeah. This fat bloke is waffling shizzle. It's just good to be out.
So it's approaching five o'clock. I've been sitting on my Aris, enjoying the sounds of the woodland, only disturbed by a few cars because the road ain't that far away. Not a soul has passed me, which is good. Great little setup there, as you can see. Just thought I'd use the last bit of light. Oh, it's great to be out. It really is great to be out. I'm even looking forward to keeping on the floor. Um, right. While I've got you, I'm just wondering if anyone next year would be up for joining me for a challenge. What I'm thinking of doing, it's a one day challenge on small motorbikes, one, two, five or lower. I won't tell you exactly what it is, but the challenge will only take a day. Now what I would say is we'll camp overnight the night before and we'll camp overnight at the finish if we can get a campsite. We can all have a couple of beers, enjoy it. It is a beast of a challenge though. Um, if you've seen some of mine, you know, I don't like to make it easy. But if you are interested, link down, link down below, comment down below. I ain't just trying to get you to comment, it helps. Like, share, subscribe, all that shit's not, you know, because I'm a tuber. Um, but yeah, a bit nearer the time. I should let thee know. Been working on those bikes for the Tiny Bike Tour 2. And it is going to be utterly brutal. Now, originally, we were going to do Land's End John O'Groats. I don't think we're going to be able to get the bikes up to John O'Groats to work our way down. Logistically, it's just a nightmare. So I may have to just pick out a thousand mile route. We shall see. If anyone knows of any decent uh, van hire companies, because dropping off up at John O'Groats puts the price ridiculously high. And uh, young Mr. Whitworth, the offer you have given us is absolutely fantastic to go pick us up. I don't think they're gonna fit in your van, mate. I really don't. Um, and it's a big ask to come down from up north, down south, up to Scotland and then back down again. Maybe. If I can figure out van hire that doesn't cost the earth, because at the moment it is proper pricey, like 1,500 quid pricey, it'd be cheaper for me to buy a van and leave it up there. But I ain't doing that. We shall see. Losing light. I've picked up a few sticks for me twig stove. I'll wait for it to get dark, probably fire that up. Start me food. You don't need to hear me jibber jabbering, do you? Waffle, waffle, chuffing waffle. What the f is wrong with you? Wrong with you? So I've got me noodles in the pot, lard in the frying pan, there's some beef. That's all going to go back on top of my. Let's spoil little puck stove thing. Not sure if you can see that or not. Just there. And we'll get frying this up and add it to my noodles. Korean beef with real beef. The wind's picking up a bit. It's a bit crickety and crackety around. I have had a good look and everything's sort of facing away from us so I shouldn't get too squished in the middle of the night. Come here loads of critters. I should really get the uh, thermal out and see if I can see any. But I'm too busy eating or well, getting ready to eat. Been a cracking night. Not a lot of filming. Not a lot of filming at all. Great little stove that. Don't get me wrong, my fancy face and my penny stoves still work equally as well. It's just very usable. I'll get the other x boil thing out in a bit. Can't beat cooking on lard. Oosh.
see in there, but it's a noodly, meaty, brothy goodness. For a cheap, quick camp food. Stodge, flavoursome, meaty, and almost like a broth. <coughs> That is a proper winner. I just wish I could see what I was putting in my mouth. Well, that great big interrogation light in my face. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Naked noodle, Korean beef, with diced beef put in it. Everyone's a winner in a game of life. Right then, let's have a little look see at this for the second time. The Exboil 14 Ultralight. Because it was ultralight, I think that was the problem last time. Because it was a little bit flimsy where it was so lightweight. There's one of them. Right. Let's see what I can do. It's a similar sort of idea. We to the Exboil, which I love. that right there it is now probably see my tongue sticking out right so here's your firebox there's your is that right should it go underneath? We put it underneath, might make it more secure. Now that is meant to sit on these little lips. But last time, although it did go down, oh, yeah, they just don't hold it because it's ultra light. Now, although I've not cut myself on this yet, I do always think I'm going to cut myself. Right, bent them out a bit. And it's falling straight through again. So what I'm gonna do is cheat. And I'm gonna whack through the stakes that are meant for resting your cup on through the bottom now. Well, it's staying in and it's a bit more secure. Right. So, that's what it looks like. I don't know the cost. Colin sent me it from Outdoor Gear Essentials. Is a bit of a dude. And what I'm going to do, I've got loads of sticks and twigs and shiznut. I'm going to load that up with some of these, which really should have been smaller. Some bigger ones. Oh, I think that bottom's just falling through, is it? No, nope, it's all right. I'm going to proper cheat and use a little bit of meths, a little bit of meths. Where are you? You're there. <laughs> Not much in there. Hopefully those twigs and that'll catch and I won't melt my GoPro. Which with the new batteries has worked flawlessly. I'll bring you back hopefully when this is caught. So what I will say, with the pegs on the bottom, that is a usable bit of kit. It's chucking off proper heat 
No doubt you can see it glowing red. Just keep refilling it, little bits of sticks you can cook on top. It wasn't as fiddly. If I was them, I would get rid of the little tabs to hold that plate and I'll just whack in a couple more uh, pegs. Sounds good? Sounds good. So it's been burning away now for about an hour. Proper doing the do. Hasn't fallen through or anything. All the embers and that falling through. Yeah, it does burn quite hot and go through a load of sticks. But, bigger sticks, chunkier stuff, put it in as long as the bottom holds, you're golden. I don't know how much they cost. It's very, very lightweight. I would prefer my firebox, but then you've got to carry your firebox in. This weighs nothing. I don't know about the other one, um, the one that isn't UL. But yeah, get rid of them tabs though. Definitely get rid of them tabs. Not worth a carrot on something that thin. Cheers, Cole. Outdoor gear essentials. For all your outdoor gear needs. Time is approaching 10 o'clock. I'm nearly out of wood and I ain't doing any more shuttle runs because I've done a few. I'm going to let them burn down and then I'm going to start parking my bike and all that sort of stuff and get ready to climb into the coffin. Um, quick shout out to... Timmy, born outside, go have a look. If I remember, I'll put a link down. If not, go find him, it ain't that hard. I'd just like to say, Tim, if you do not respond to this shout out in a timely manner and in a way that I see fit, I will be coming to find you because you know, you must do what people say. Right, that's me in. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm doing it all up to go to sleep because obviously I've got to go get my cameras. But it's that easy to get in. Do you wanna see me crawl forward and grab you bastards? Ugh. I'm in. A little bit of room, not a lot. Check out my new sleeping headphones. <laughs> I'm special. But they work, actually work pretty well. Only 11 quid. Who gives the monkeys? It means I can lay down on them. Might look like Fran's clamour, but they work. I'll get to listen to me podcasts. Um, it's surprisingly warm in here, so I'm not even in my sleeping bag yet. I'm going to, uh, it's still late, uh, it's still early, so might even get to work editing some footage, might not, we'll see, if anything exciting happens, I'll let you know, if not, I'll be seeing you in the morning, Jesus, I ain't getting any bleeding sleep, Time's about midnight, and something has just fucking rocketed past my tent. Sounded like a bleeding horse running past. I thought, deer? We don't have deer on the Isle of Wight. It's obviously a deer or something. I ain't saying it's a big cat or any tribe like that. But it scared the bejesus out of me. It f hooned past me. 
It was big. Whatever it was, was bloody big. It wasn't a fox. No way was that a fox. It sounded like a, at least a pony. Or a fat Shetland. A fat, fast Shetland. But whatever it is, has just opened up my arsehole. Through fright. Not through, you know, any sort of zoophilia. That's me banned for using that word, if it's a word. Scared the shizzle out of me. I'll tell you what, I don't fucking spook easy. Whatever the hell that was, it's just scared the bejesus out of me. It was hauling ass. Had to be a deer. I mean, it's the only thing I can think of. It had to be a deer. Apparently, we don't have them over here other than farmed. What is it? I'm an escapee? People do say, do say they swim across the Solent and stuff. It was shifting and it was close. Six o'clock, and what a disturbed night's kit that was. Oh, wind picked up quite a bit, so the trees were rattling. I was uh, jumping around with every noise I heard, obviously. But I've got to say, this air mat for a cheap and cheerful thing is actually quite comfortable. Definitely warm enough, sleeping bag. Definitely warm enough. Zero condensation in the squall bivvy. I did have the front open all night. Just the mesh done up. Can't even see anything down the bottom. You can feel the through draft. So, all in all, yeah, everything works well. Got to get up and make myself a brew. <sighs> <sighs> and start packing up when it gets light <sighs> gotta love waking up in the woods still pitch black Right, time to slither out of here like some grounded manatee. So stiff, so stiff. <sighs> yeah. Can't even see. There it is.
Well, that little fire pit burnt everything down to ash, like a fine powder, which is good. It's actually worked okay, still fiddly as flip. I'll see what it's like when I put it away. No doubt I'll get filthy. But it worked. I didn't cut myself. It kept me warm. Not a single drop of condensation, as I've already said in there. At least you've got room to move around a bit in there and have kitten with you. So yeah, ain't a bad little space. I don't know how much they are at the minute. But if you have a look at um, some of the other options you've got, I forgot the name of them. Oh, help me out. You've got the snug pack stuff, in you? And what's the other one that everyone bleeding buys? Rab. The rab. Yeah, that's a damn sight cheaper than the rab. Rab's going to be slightly more breathable, I would imagine. But, yeah, nothing in there this morning. The only thing I don't like about it is the white mesh. Why have white mesh? I don't know. Oh, I feel like I've been beaten up, but I always do when I keep on the floor. Still want to know what that was that run past. Had to be a deer. I can't think of anything else it could be. It's definitely like a hooved animal. It run like a horse. Big, heavy. It was shifting. Had to be a deer. Had to be. Can't think of what else it could be. You never know, me night lapse may have captured it, stood still for 10 seconds before it bolted. I'll have a look later. It probably didn't. So I've been out trying to find if there's any evidence of like hoof prints or something like that because it sounded really, really close. Now, I'm definitely no bloody tracker at all, but I've been lost it now. Appears to be, they're not hoof prints, but it could have been me wandering around, you know, going for a wads and stuff. But if you follow the line here, you can sort of see disturbances all the way down, and this sounded like the direction it was going. But I don't know. Whatever it was, was hauling arse though. Um, yeah, I'd like to have a definitive answer. What's this? Not annoying at all. Does it work? Yeah, so I really have no idea what that was. It really did spook the bejesus out of me. That close that heavy that loud yeah look you just see and as you go back it sort of follows that line and that's where it sounded like where it was coming from but i don't know they're not they're not hoof prints no definitive prints there's leaf litter and shit everywhere in there i'd like to know what it was I mean, it has to be a deer. It has to be. Either that or someone's bleeding pony got out. It made a racket though. It, it sounded like a horse running past you. Um, I don't know, people are gonna say there's deer, blah, 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 blah. There ain't deer on the Isle of Wight. That's why it spooked me, completely unexpected. I've stayed in places where there are deer. Not a problem, you know they're there. But, when you've just about nodded off and you have that thunder past your tent and it was bloody close, sounded close. I know the dark does things to you, but it sounded close. Anyway, I'm gonna stop my jibber jabber now and start packing up. How about that? Get home, show my wife a good husband. That sounds like a plan. together in the park but as the evening sky grew dark she looked at him and he felt a spark a tangle to his bones it was then
then he fell along. Standard, no trace left. Went for a curly poo, buried it. As you can see here, there's the dusty ash from the fire pit. Absolutely nothing there. Had a sweet brown. Even picked up other people's litter, as you do. I'm gonna put this camera away now. I'm gonna walk out. You might get a little bit of footage of me cycling with audio. Because I wanna see if these mics work while I'm moving on the bike. And I'm pretty sure they do. So then, we are back on the bike on our way home, which is more hilly than not. No issue at all pedaling this thing, just wish it had better gears. I still have no idea what that was that spooked me. I'd really like to know, I'm keeping my eye out for deer. But it was a quality night last night. If you can hear me, I've got quite a breeze or wind from me cycling in my face, so the mics will be working. If you can't, tough titties. So, thoroughly enjoyed it. Simple, easy food, delicious. Quite a comfortable night despite not a lot of sleep. Until next time. Ta-ra.